the water story. The next three guys, David is, I don't know what he's doing. He's probably just reminiscing. I don't think he's actually asking for water because it's a really silly ask. This, where Bethlehem, he's saying, I want to drink some water from the well that's in Bethlehem because that's where I was in my childhood and it was the best water. It's the greatest tasting water. It has the best filter, whatever. I don't think he's really asking for it because it's surrounded by Philistines. It's like a Philistine base, but three guys pulled it to the side and they're like, you know, if David wants it, let's go get it. They travel 12 miles. They break through the camp of the Philistines. They get the water out. Then they leave. They go back to David and they say, here's the water. And David takes the water and he looks at it and he goes, and he pours it out. And you're like, oh my, David. My wife and I debated this for three days. No joke. We were like really talking about this. She's like, why wouldn't he drink it for God? I go, no, no, no. He poured it out for God. It's better. It's better. It's like, it's like uh, the rappers today who pour one out for the loved ones lost. They got it from the Bible. <laughs> They're all Christians. There's no other explanation. So we debated back and forth. So uh, the reason I won the argument, like usual. <laughs> so some of you are married? All right. There's so, many, there's so many stories before this of a drink offering. They talk about a drink offering. And so what David's doing is actually giving a drink offering to God. He just takes something of such high value. And in that moment, what does he say exactly? He says, far be it from, O Lord, that I should do this. Shall I drink the blood of the men who went at the risk of their lives? He decides in that moment saying, this is the most valuable thing I have ever been given. It's the most valuable thing in my life. So I want to sacrifice it to God. There's such a message there. It's point two in your notes. It's God sees our sacrifice and David does it often. You're going to see at the very end in 2 Samuel 24, 24, when he's the king already. And when he's the king, he needs, to, he needs a field to do something for God. And the guy's like, you can take it. And he goes, no, I don't want anything for God that didn't cost me something. You just see this theme over and over. That's 2 Samuel 24, 24. Put it as a theme of your life saying, I'm going to give a sacrifice that costs me something.